Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I'm bringing you to a Scentsy review video on the Jelly Belly Wax Collection. I'm going to do a quick video on this. I'm not sure how long it's going to be available. I just noticed today, I think it recently sold out in Region 3. So I just want to get this video out in case people are contemplating purchasing this. Now just keep in mind, any review is based on my experience, my home. Obviously I have my own scent preferences, things like that. So you have to factor that in. But it comes in a box like this. There's five wax bars. In Canada, the five wax bars are $40. In the US, they're $30. This is still available as a unit. If you wanna get individual bars, you have to put them in your Scentsy Club and you should put them in before the wax kit sells out because sometimes you can't add them in after the fact. Now, it comes with jelly beans, which I've already eaten all the jelly beans. Now up here, I have some things written down because <laughs> I asked my kids to rate them in order of what they liked and what they disliked. So I'll do, hopefully I'll remember to do that by the end of the video. But let me go through each wax bar in order, let you know how it did. I have some notes down here I'm gonna to refer to. So the first one here is Sizzling Cinnamon. I used six out of the eight cubes so far. This is described as a spicy sweet blend of real cinnamon, orange zest, and sugar cane. So the real cinnamon, it's pretty intense. I would say pretty red hot. At first I thought it was more potpourri, but after warming it, it's more red hot. Orange zest, I don't know, you can get a little bit of that because it kind of reminded me of Christmas Cottage. And the sugar cane adds a little bit of a, like a sweetness, a special sweetness, but it's pretty intense on the cinnamon. Like you gotta like cinnamon. I like cinnamon, this was just okay for me. I found that um, when my son smelled this, he goes, That's, that smells like a flame, that smells like fire. <laughs> so it is pretty red hot. It reminded me a lot of the big red gum, the big red chewing gum. And the problem I had was when I put in the warmer. So for me, this, I thought, okay, it's cinnamon. It's pretty strong here in the clamshell. So I put four cubes down in my open concept layout like I normally do. I had terrible results. I would say strength and throw was between four and a half to five. And I only left it in nine hours because it just wasn't throwing the greatest. You had to be really close to the warmer. I would say around six to eight feet, I could kind of smell it. It reminds me of if you light a three wick candle and how when you first light it, you have little wax pools around each wick. So that's what the warmers were kind of doing. I could smell it when I was in around the warmer, but it didn't kind of fill the whole room. So normally when I put my Scentsy wax in, so you would light the three wicks of the candle, let's say, eventually the whole candle is liquefied and everything is working as a unit. Typically in my open concept space, my whole space is, is warmed and filled with the scent, but this one, it just kind of did little zones. So it didn't do well for me. I did however put another two cubes in my bonus room which is a very fairly big room and somewhat challenging room and it did much much better there strength of throw there was seven out of ten i left it going 22 hours over two days so it did much better it wasn't um outstanding like i thought it was going to be but it did better if you're someone that likes cinnamon bear christmas cottage scents like that even maybe autumn sunset you may like something like this pretty red hot cinnamon I would say stick with small to medium spaces. Probably medium might be best. Small might be too intense on the cinnamon. If you wanted to tone down the cinnamon, you have this bar and you don't care for it. You could mix a bakery scent like sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream. If you had any woolly slippers mixed um, left over, you could mix something like that. And would I put this in my Scentsy Club to get it again? No, I would not. It's not really something that worked well for me, consistently well for me. The scent was, I think there were, Christmas Cottage is probably a better scent. Cinnamon Bear has been around a long time. But anyway, that is Sizzling Cinnamon. Scent number two in the kit, Juicy Pear. This is like a, almost like a neon lime green wax. And this one is described as jam packed with lush Anjou pears and bright vanilla cotton candy. So we basically have Anjou pears, which I believe are like a green skin pear and a vanilla cotton candy. So most cotton candies have a sugary scent, but there's vanilla in here, so we can kind of imply it's gonna smell like a vanilla cotton candy. Now, when I put this in the warmer, first thing I thought after a while was, where's the pear? Because it's hard to smell. There's quite a bit of the vanilla cotton candy and not as much pear comes out. In contrast, when I chewed that jelly bean that was in, in the uh, box, which by the way, I didn't really like the Juicy pear jelly bean, it had a very weird tang to it, but but you could definitely smell and taste that it was a pear versus this, it was kind of questionable. So if you're someone that really, really loves pear and you want pear to be the predominant note, that may not be the case. It might be cotton candy, just slightly, vanilla cotton candy slightly edges out the pear. You can definitely smell pear, but if you're a pear lover, you kind of want more. 
but it does smell like a sweet candy confectionery pear, lots of vanilla, lots of cotton candy. So what I did was I used up four cubes, so I warmed it in two spots. I took one cube and put it in my smallest uh, bedroom here in the house, my youngest child's room. Strength and th throw there was pretty low, I would say around five out of 10. It's a Colors of the Rainbow 25 watt bulb warmer, so it usually does fairly well. I left this going only nine hours and kind of got discouraged and took it out. Now I took the other three cubes here and I put them downstairs in the biggest bedroom of the house just to see. Strength and throw there was around a four to four and a half and I left it going 25 hours over two days because I could kind of smell it at a low intensity versus in the other room I couldn't really smell this the greatest. Um, if you're someone that likes spiced pear you may like this. It's somewhat similar but this has more of a candy sweetness confectionery vibe. If you're someone that likes lighter scents like 100 Acre Wood or Apricot Vanilla, it's not the same, but it gives that low intensity that some people like and look for. Uh, this would probably be really good for a baby's room or a small area, a bathroom perhaps, if you don't mind a candy-like slightly uh, fruity scent in your bathroom. Um, you could probably mix this with Spice Pear and see kind of if you could change it up just a slight bit, but would I put this one in my Scentsy Club? I actually had it in to start and then I removed it because I was not happy with the performance on this one. Very, very light. Unfortunately, not a standout for me. So that is Juicy Pear. Okay, the third set we're going to discuss is Toasted Marshmallow from the Jelly Belly Collection, which is different from Toasted Marshmallow from the Summer Collection. This one is described as oozing with the buttery scent of fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber, and hints of cedarwood. So we have buttery fire roasted vanilla. And the butter part reminds me a little bit of that butter smell that you get in a microwave bag of popcorn. It's not so, so concentrated, but you can kind of get that. The amber may be where I'm picking up a little bit of the vibe of maple. And also sometimes maple and butter kind of go together in some people's heads. So that could be why I'm picking up a tiniest bit of maple with this. And you definitely get like a toasty ember, but not quite to the extent of the summer collection scent but you do get it early on for sure and you definitely get like a vanilla and marshmallow tone now as the scent warms you kind of lose some of the smokiness and it's kind of more like a vanilla marshmallow so at first it's very like that little bit of artificial butter tiny bit of maple some charred marshmallow type smell with like an embery fire a little bit not too too bad I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this one. It was okay for me. It was probably the best performing wax out of this kit. So I put two cubes out of the five that I used in my bonus room and I had strength to throw there about eight out of 10. So no problem. It is definitely a lingerer because I turned it off one night and the next morning when I walked in the room, I could still smell <laughs> no problem. So definitely a lingerer. Um, sometimes lingerer scents, you can kind of turn them off and on and really get a long life out of them. But I left this going three days, about 23 hours. Now, I decided to take three other cubes and put them in the warmers that I have going overnight. Um, just because where it's a lingerer and, and the next day would kind of fairly complement most scents that I would warm the next day. So I turned this off, obviously, in the mornings. I left this going a three nights, 24-hour total time frame, and then I removed it. By the third night, it was mostly like a very soft, creamy vanilla marshmallow. So um, would this be something I would put in my Scentsy Club? I'm not really sure. I've toyed going back and forth. Do I want another bar? Do I not? I, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. I think this would do okay in an open concept space. Medium space would do great. Oh, I should say my overnight warmers, the strength of throw there was about 8 out of 10. And if you're someone that didn't really like the one from the summer collection, you might want to give this one a try if you ever see it, or you might want to put it in your Scentsy Club just to give it a try and see what you think. And then you can decide if you want to keep it in. I might pick up one more bar, I'm not sure. It didn't blow me away, but I was fairly impressed with the performance, so I appreciate when wax performs well. Okay, next we are going to discuss Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity is set number four. This one is a pink wax. I used up five cubes. This one is described as tantalizing, fruity, juicy citrus, and subtle florals swirl with winter green and cloves. So we have a lot of scent notes in here, but basically this smells like a pink bubble gum with a tiny bit of like a winter green. Sometimes because of that clove and winter green, you can kind of tell it's like in the background. It almost makes it feel like a wintry bubble gum scent, if that makes any sense. But my daughter really, really liked this. My son liked it quite a bit. 
I was just okay with it. So if you're someone that likes bubblegum scents and we don't really have anything like that right now, you definitely want to put this one in your Scentsy Club so you can sample it out and see if you like it. So keep in mind there is that little tiny backdrop of the wintergreen and I think that gives you a little tingly sensation. But the name of this, Tutti Frutti, um, it probably should be called bubblegum. But anyway, how did this one do? I took two cubes and put it in my daughter's room. I left it going 22 hours over a three day span. Strength and throw about six and a half, six, six and a half. It was about a medium or an average type scent, maybe even slightly below that. Um, her warmer is pretty a pretty good warmer it's a beacon warmer and if you haven't checked that out it's actually in the clearance it's actually pretty good performing warmer so maybe give that one a check if you haven't thought if you've been thinking about getting it you might want to grab it but anyway the other three cubes I put in my son's room and his room is the biggest bedroom of the house and I do find most scents throw well there with the exception of juicy pear that did not <laughs> did not throw well but in his, my son's room it was about a seven and a half strength and throw for the three cubes now what I do is I have two full-size warmers in there and I just take three cubes, divide them in half, so each warmer is getting one and a half cubes. I left it going there 21 hours over two days, which is, is pretty pretty good for one and a half cubes worth. And if you're someone that likes bubblegum scents, like I said, bubblegum blast, bubblegum, I can't think of any others. If you uh, plan on warming this, I would suggest small to medium rooms to get your best performance. I think it would get lost in an open concept space, just not quite strong enough. You could use something like this as a mixer, especially with fruity scents you find too strong. This would actually tone it down just a bit. And will I put this in my Scentsy Club and keep it there? My daughter really wants me to keep it there. So, you know, you probably do that for your kids. But yeah, I'll probably keep it there for her and warm it in her room because she really, really liked it. And the fifth scent of this collection and our last scent is Green Apple. This one is a dark green wax. I used three cubes in two different locations. This one is described as a perfect fusion of tart green apples, spun sugar, and candy sweet vanilla. So, this one here, you definitely smell the candy sweet vanilla. All these scents definitely have a candy tone. I mean, they're the Jelly Belly collection. If you're someone that doesn't like sweet confectionery scents, this collection may not be for you. But you can smell the tart green apple, but to me, it's like about a third. And then you get a sugary, like creamy vanilla scent. So maybe the sponge sugar is a third and the vanilla is a third, but there's a lot of vanilla. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Do I love it? It's, it's all right. It's definitely more on the green side of apples. So if you're scared of red apples scents, then this would be still one that you might want to try, but it's very confection and candy-like. It's not strong on the green apple. So I put one cube out of the three in my youngest child's room. Strength and throw there, seven and a half. I left it going two days, 16 hour total time frame. So it was it was all right. Uh, in my daughter's room, she likes this scent as well. I put two cubes in her beacon warmer there, which is a 25 watt bulb. A little lighter there, turned to throw seven out of 10. And I think I left it going three days because I kind of lost track. She actually screws up my testing a lot and turns things off and on. So <laughs> she's driving me crazy. Anyway, um, but she does really like this. So will I get this in my Scentsy Club, probably just for her um, and use them up just for her, maybe maybe one more time. If you're someone that likes like winter candy apple, you may enjoy this scent. If you like vanilla candy confection scents, you may enjoy this scent. Stick to small to medium spaces. And if you wanted to bump up the apple, you could definitely add, add an apple. You could probably start with something like Apple Crush or A is for apple, which is a little more of a green apple vibe. You could probably even mix this with Jack's Obsession. Who knows? Um, you would obviously get a little tiny spice, but it would get, get a brightness there. And like I said, yes, I probably will put this in my Scentsy Club. So out of the five, I think Toasted Marshmallow definitely performed the best. And then maybe uh, Green Apple Tutti Fruity Tide. And for me, I did not get good results with Sizzling Cinnamon or at least consistent results. And definitely Juicy Pear was the least performance least what how would you say that it wasn't performing the greatest for me pretty light hard to smell a little bit disappointing so just to, to kind of summarize i asked my youngest son the order that he liked and this was his order tutti fruity green apple juicy pear toasted marshmallow sizzling cinnamon my daughter green apple tutti fruity juicy pear sizzling cinnamon toasted marshmallow and if it were me 
what would I put the order in? I would probably say I really liked, I don't know if I really liked any of them because I, I don't know. I think I had my hopes up for this one and I was a little bit sad, but that doesn't mean it's a bad collection. It just, maybe it's not the collection for me. So yeah, I, I don't know if I put any in the Scentsy Club for me personally, but for my kids, I will definitely do that. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Let me know what you guys think of this collection down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.